So we're going to look at example three, this idea of mixing percentages of quantities. So we often see these types of problems with, in this case it's fertilizer, um, they talk about alcohol problems often, uh, mixing wines, that kind of stuff. So it's the same sort of idea. When we're starting these types of problems, the best way to start is, again, we want to define our unknowns. But sometimes it's tough to determine what our unknowns are. So let's just imagine we're out there and we're Farmer Joe and we're mixing fertilizer. We're going to take one fertilizer and that's supposed to be a little bucket. We're going to take another fertilizer. That's another bucket. And when we mix them together, we're going to get a big bucket of fertilizer. The first one we're taking is at 24%. The second one is at 12%. And the total is going to be 21%. What else does the problem tell you? Well, we know that all of it combined is going to be 100 kgs. Now, looking at this problem right away, we know we don't, the unknowns are the amounts in each of the buckets. So we don't know how much is in the first bucket, so let's just call it bucket X. And we don't know how much is in the second bucket, so let's just call it bucket Y. And let's define our variables then. So let's say, let's let X equal the amount at 24%. And we're going to let y equal the amount at 12%. So we've defined our variables. Now once we have our variables defined, now we want to write our system of equations. And again, if we have two unknowns, we're going to have two equations. So the first equation comes right from our picture. x plus y has to equal 100. So that's an easy one, that's the amount. Now the second equation is going to be based on percentages. So let's think about this. If we had, let's say, 10 kilograms of X, and it's at 24%, to figure out how many kilograms are in nitrogen, we'd have to multiply them together. If we're always trying to find an amount, and this is common for um, these percentage types problems. If you want to find your amount, what we have to do is we have to take the mass, which is just another thing for how much it weighs, and times it by the percentage. So this, in, in this case, our amount is going to be of nitrogen. So to find the amount of nitrogen in the first one, we take the 24 and multiply it by the mass. To find the amount of nitrogen in the second one, we take the percentage of nitrogen and multiply it by the mass. Now, this is where I say exercise caution. This is where a lot of students get into difficulty. is because what you want to write here is, well, just the amount. We just want to write 100 in. But if we wrote 100 right here, that 100 kilograms would just represent the mass. And we're not trying to write an equation with mass. We already have our equation with mass right here. We're trying to write an equation with the amount of nitrogen. So we have to take the mass, total mass, of 100 kilograms and multiply it by the percentage. We have to use the same equation. But we need to take this and we need to go 21, the percentage, multiplied by the mass. So you don't want to make that mistake. Now we have a system of equations, two equations, two unknowns. Let's do substitution this time. So let's say that we solve this for y. So y is going to equal 100 minus x. Now I can take this y and I can substitute it into my second equation. And remember, the choice is up to you. If you want to do elimination every time, Go for it. That's fine. So 12, and we're going to substitute 100 minus x, and that's going to equal 2100. So now we're going to have 24x plus 1200 
minus 12x is going to equal 2100. So we're going to get 12x is equal to 900 if we maneuver for things around. And we're going to get an x value equal. So if we go 12, 900 divided by 12, we get 75. Now, what does that 75 represent? Luckily, we have defined our unknowns. And x, in this case, is the amount at 24%. So if that's the amount at 24%, there it is. There's our answer right there. We can take the 75 and put it back into this equation right here. And I'm hoping at this point everyone can do that math in their head. So how much should this Farmer Joe mix? Uh, they should mix 75, and let's remember our units, kilograms at 24% and 25 kilograms at 12%. And there we have it.